Welcome to using curl to troubleshoot Akamai requests. I am Mike Ellison, a developer advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through this short tutorial on how to get started with curl to troubleshoot your Akamai requests. Curl is a fantastic command line tool that you can use to send HTTP and HTTPS requests similar to a web browser. Curl offers the ability to add custom HTTP headers, including the Akamai Pragma headers, to help troubleshoot your requests, ranging from checking error codes to checking whether an object is properly cached or not, or verifying that you're connected to the right Akamai Edge server. For instance, to test if you're testing against Akamai Staging Edge servers. For more information on Curl, please visit curl.hacks.sc to find out more information. Curl comes pre-installed with the Akamai development environment. For instructions on how to install the Akamai development environment, please watch the video Getting Started with the Akamai development environment. Let's get started with Curl. In your terminal, you are able to run the Curl command. Curl comes included with tons of options and with the curl-help command, you can find more information. The most important options to remember are curl-h which offers the ability to specify custom headers with their values, as well as dash capital I to output the headers on screen. Please make sure that you use capital for both of these. The Akamai Pragma headers can be added by specifying the dash capital H option, which includes quotes Pragma, which is the name of the header, and then the value of this header and the end quotes. The full set of these headers can be found in the description below. Now let's run a first curl request for an image running through Akamai. Here we can observe the following. First, we get an HTTP 1.1 OK, which means that this was a successful request. And here you have the X check cacheable setting, which is a Boolean, which basically means that if the value is yes, that the object Schrodinger's cat.png can be cached according to the settings in the Akamai delivery configuration. If this contains a no, it means that this file, for whatever reason, cannot be cached. In my delivery configuration, I have a setting that makes sure that all PNG files can be cached. You also have the X cache. You also have the X cache option, which shows whether or not an object is actually in cache served from the edge server that you're connected with. The TCP miss option, of course, means that the object is not in cache. If we were to rerun the request, we now see that the X cache section has changed to TCP hit, meaning that the object has been cached and is now in cache. Not visible on this second request, but on this first request, we actually do see the X cache remote which means that, that it was a hit. This has to do with the Akamai tiered distribution, which means that there is an Akamai parent edge server that had the image in cache. Now, please also note that each request comes with a unique ID, X Akamai request idea, that you can use for further troubleshooting. In case something goes wrong, you can use this request idea for Akamai technical support or Akatech. And often it helps to just do a complete output of your curl file and send it over to your Akamai technical support representative. Curl can also be a great way for you to test with Akamai staging. In combination with looking up an Akamai staging server and modifying your host's file, you can run curl requests and should receive the x akamai staging header to verify that you're testing against the right Akamai Edge platform. By running a dig command against your Akamai hostname, you will get production IP addresses back. These are Akamai Edge servers that are running in production. By adding dash staging to the Akamai hostname, not your own hostname, but the Akamai hostname, you should receive a Akamai staging IP address that you can then add in your hosts file. On macOS, this can be done by using the vi slash etc slash hosts. And as you can see, I had already added this in here. And so we're just going to uncomment it, save it. And we're going to rerun our curl request right now. 
And as you can see, we now see the X dash Akamai dash staging mapped to Edge Suite. This means that we're now testing against an Edge server. And again, the object was not in cache. If we run it again, we can see that it's now in cache. And here you can see the actual Edge server that we're connected to, which is a staging server. So this is a great way for you to help use curl and troubleshoot your Akamai requests. In this video, we showcase the basics of using curl, and there are plenty of other options out there, so I encourage you to experiment. I hope that this tutorial on using curl to troubleshoot your Akamai requests has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start using curl. For more content, please visit developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. If you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on social media under the handle at Akamai Mike. I want to thank you very much for your time today and hope to see you again in our other tutorials. Good luck and happy Akamizing!